Three, two, one. This V1 CNC rotor machine was built during the MCO period due to the pandemic of COVID-19 disease. The idea was come out due to wanna apply the knowledge that I have and at the same time to learn some new thing to improve myself. The overall machine comes with dimension of 800mm length, 600mm wide and 716mm Height. The overall machine structure built with aluminum extrusion bar with side 3030 and also 2020. The material applied is to ensure that the weight of the machine is lighter, long lifespan with anti corrosion, and also increase the market value and appearance of the product. The concept of the shape was designed with the idea of wanna combine all of the electrical box and the machine in one unit. This is because to ensure it will be portable and easy to move to another place and all the things that are connected to the machine only in one. But for this BMMD 3543 Rapid Prototyping Subject we will more focus on the jack assist mechanism movement, especially the power transmission part. This is because we getting the feedback from the buyer of the V1 CNC rotor machine say that the movement of the jack assist was not enough smooth and sometimes we will have slipping problem happen. So here we will upgrade and modify some of the transmission part and also the design. There are four phases all to in an MPT process. However, we only managed to do until the beginning of phase two. It's because we do not have enough knowledge and budget to proceed to pre-production phase. The first event in the MPT process is the kick of milestone that signifies the common sense of project. Then it follows by the market research, concept start, concept selection, determine the supplier and engineering consultant for the project, target specification from benchmarking and V1, start OPEX capex list and concept approval. The concept selection process is supposed to be in phase one. Since this is a co concurrent engineering project, the activities from phase one can begin. The concept starts once the benchmarking is done. Next, the phase one continues with design process, design approval. Detail design and BOM complete. Detail design approval, prototype testing, and finally pilot project. The target specification approval milestone is where the target specification determined from benchmarking activity and B1. The next milestone concept approval where the project director decides whether the concept is go or no go. Then it follows by design approval and detail design approval. 
pilot project is our prototype testing is done which is the mock-up mission of V2. Next is master schedule. Master scheduling is the detailed planning process that checks manufacturing output and match this against customer's order that have been placed. The master schedule is the next step in planning after the sales and operation planning. The master schedule record will vary based on your company's planning system and specific products, but it will contain a number of requirement pieces of information. The record should contain the forecaster's demand, the number of book orders, the project inventory levels, the production quantities, and the quantity available for promise. For the financial, we invest 5000 for the laptop, 300 for the printer, and 400 ringgit for software. Other than that, we consume 400 for the CNC spindle and 100 receiving it for the table. Next show, the operating expenditure list for this semester. We can see that we spend 50 ringgit on printer ink, F4 and petrol. For internet data, we consume 150 ringgit for 4 people. We also consume 10 and 9 ringgit for spray paints and cable types. All of this team invest in October 2021, considering the petrol internet data team consume is for all months starting October until January. So the total for OPEX is 995 ringgit. A clarified problem method, or also known as clarifying the function was applied. The team has sit down and brainstormed to come up with the idea to solve the problem from the customer feedback. So the team has come up with the three ideas to solve this problem. First, by using the timing belt and pulley method. Second, by using the sprocket and chain method. Third, by using the coupling direct mouth method. In the concept selection, we have applied the wet rating method, which is more suitable for this modified product. So from this table have shown, there are three alternative concepts designed according to the criteria. Throughout this method, we have come out with a height rate of 3.85% which is the coupling direct mouth method. It also directly become the final specification whereby it was the best way to solve the problem and can avoid the power loss when transmitting. So this is our final sub-assembly design for the Z-axis mechanism that come up with the bone list of the assembly drawing. For the detailed design, we have three parts modified or add-on to fabricate the part such as the upper mouth plate, motor mouth plate, and also the spacer pipe. This is the first of the calculation where we calculate the shear stress. We are using about 5 kilos for the mass and the force about 49 newton and the shear stress is 1.53 kilopascal next is the exploded view where we have about 20 parts and about total of 34 parts so for the whole assembly drawing we break them into three main parts so for the first one we have about six parts for the second one, we have 8 parts and for the third one, we have 6 parts. Next is the Ultimaker Chura software. In this software, we are using only fabrication part for the analysis. This is the upper mount plate. Next is the motor mount plate. And the last one is the spacer pipe. Each of the analysis we use about 4 orientation which is 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Positioning of parts and features. If we can see that our team choose 3 parts to analyze in Ultimaker Kura and the duration for 4 different orientation show in the table above. For material selection, team has already selected three parts in the Z axis. The part is the upper mount plate, motor mount plate, and spacer pipe. The table show the function for every part. 
Example of rapid tooling machine. First is uh, fuse deposition modeling (FDM). Second, STL and 3D printing. Advantages of rapid tooling. First, time saving. Rapid prototyping eliminate the time needed to produce pattern, mold, and special tools required for conventional modeling. The result is that an accurate model is quickly available for, for testing features, form, performance, and usability. Second, money saving. Another advantage of rapid tooling system is the money saving factor. Next is pro opportunity for innovation. Disadvantages of rapid tooling. First is insufficient analysis. When the focus is on a limited prototype, it can distract the product developer from doing proper product analysis of the complete project. Second, user confusion. If a prototype reach the customer, they might mistake it for the final product. If what they see is a rough prototype, they will not understand that it is subject to further finishing. Move it, keep my head up when I act Head up, that's a fact Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track Keep my head up, staying strong Always moving on Feel I don't belong, tell my boss to move